everybody, I'm Tim here with Eric from Cigar Dojo and today we're talking about the future of cigars in social media and online. And you're watching Cigars Daily. In this video, we're both puffing on Perdomo's 10th anniversary. You got the Sun Grown, I got the Maduro. But I wanna invite you guys to get even more out of this video when you watch it on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Or if you wanna check more out about these, you can learn about them also on the Dojoverse. You can check in to your Perdomo, any any Perdomo cigar, but these in particular. You check in enough times, you earn your Perdomo badge and uh, Ultimately, you become a uh, Perdomo connoisseur. So if you want badges and, and internet fame, internet acknowledgement, go check it out on the Dojoverse. You've been doing this for 10 plus years. I've been doing it for about six years. We've both managed to survive and stay alive in this very invisible fight that goes on behind, the, behind closed doors on the internet. What do you think it's gonna look like five years from now? You know, that's a great question. Um, I suppose, you know, there's so many factors like do, th th uh, do people get finally fed up with this sort of overreaching, you know, over-regulatory hand with A, cigars, and even their their media? It's not just cigars and media that that get, uh, you know, axed for certain reasons. You brought up a couple of reasons earlier, which is, you know, all of those things are kind of scary. So so could there could there be an uprising where the people just say, hey, you know what, we're going to we're going to leave these platforms if you continue to do this. We don't know that. Right. Let's say that, that it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Sure. It sort of seems like it's just going to continue to go the way it's going. And if that is the case and it continues to go the way it's going, I wouldn't be surprised in you know, three, four, five years that you can't have your group on – your cigar group on Facebook. You can't have your yeah. – your bourbon group on on Facebook. Maybe you can't make posts on Twitter that have a cigar in them. Yep. You know those types of things. Um, there might not. There may be a day when you can't. Now that this would all be devastating even to us still because we have a live show that's on Facebook, and so that would be. Right. You know we'd have to think of a new. When is that show? Uh, each week? So we have a Wednesday night show, which is a pairing show. It's called Flavor Odyssey, 9 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday night, and then our big show. For me, which is the one I host, is I shouldn't have said I, sh I shouldn't have said it that way, Robbie and Randy. I made it I made it seem like my show was bigger than your show, which it is. It is. But no, I'm just kidding. Um, so Friday night is Smoke Night Live, which uh -huh. we've been doing for years and years and years. Yes. Um, coming up on our 300th episode, and that's a Facebook Live thing, um, and we get it's a fun like it's sort of a party that night. People get on. Our idea on Smoke Night Live is let's have th this one show a week. Where it's not very serious. Hell yeah! You know, it's a, it's a bit more goofy, less and structure, less more structure, fun. more fun. Yeah. Uh, but then the, the Wednesday night show is it's an in depth pairing. Like you brought out this really good beer. Yes. Tell, yeah. This is uh, Founders. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, I was going to say Inglorious Bastard. It's an hour and a half long movie. It's delicious. <laughs> no, uh, it's called Backwoods Bastard. Right. My favorite cigar pairing. It beer. pairs marvelously with this Perdomo. I mean, I got to say, it's amazing. So that's the kind of stuff on that show. That we explore, like, you know, right now we're in the spicy segment. We're exploring, like, spicy pairings. Hell yeah. That kind of stuff. So I'll tell you guys, if you haven't already checked out Cigar Dojo on Facebook, you still can. We all have not been deleted or wiped out from the internet. Not yet. Um, so you can go join, yeah. uh, follow their page, like, follow, and share their stuff, and watch the videos because they're good. And these guys have arguably got more experience in this than I do. Uh, also, I'll tell you, from my perspective... I just want to sort of share it. speculatively, as as we're talking speculatively here. I think in the next five years we're going to see a lot of changes in social media for cigars. It seems like we've hit a level of stability for the moment. Mm -hmm. Like YouTube hasn't done anything in at least a year to mess with, you know, uh, new regulations on cigar channels and stuff. Facebook hasn't done anything extreme really within the last year. We're sort of at a steady point right now, but I think that one of the big determinators, and this is just in my mind, is going to be the regulations as they come down. Mm -hmm. You know, I think as certain regulations get passed, there have been several bills uh, that have that have gone into Congress in the last couple of years that would outlaw selling cigars online mm -hmm. right. for uh, for the all intents and purposes. So uh, I would say if you see stuff like that come down with regulation, I think you'll see the, the online uh, tech giants say, OK, well, right. if, if they're going to regulate this out of the Internet, we're going to go ahead and regulate it out of our. Right. And that brings up a great point, because, like, let's just say that this menthol. Uh, and flavor cigar ban goes into effect. You mean right? ass, you mean assault cigarettes? Yeah, assault cigarettes. <laughs> let's let's assume that that yeah. comes to be. Um, would then, a te like you said, would a tech giant say, "Oh well, these guys can't talk about flavored cigars on our channel right. because right. 
flavored cigars are a banned substance. So but therefore, it, you know, that's how that, this kind of stuff goes down. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at this moment, it seems like it seems like it's pretty steady because you can make videos about Cuban cigars and those are illegal. Yeah. So you I can also do you can also have an app that is a marijuana app. <laughs> but you can't have a cigar app. Yeah. Right? So yeah. like some of this doesn't make a lot of sense. The biggest head scratch. I mean, I, I think politically we could figure this out. But yeah. let's stick away from that. But I, I think I get where that comes from. But that is obviously a strange contradiction. It's the, it's the, well, this is, and I was talking about this this last week on Cigars Daily Live. And we do our show on Sunday nights. Um, it's, the, it's the idea of a ban. Bans tend to, and they seem to have this really interesting way of just creating an illegal market for something, right? So if you're mm -hmm. talking about an, a menthol flavored cigar ban, uh, either either company starts selling an infusion kit, or mm, right. you you end up with this other market for it, and that's dangerous because then people don't can't always tell the difference between a legitimate product and something that was made on the cheaps, right? Right. So, right. Anyway, all dangerous to come with it. But uh, going forward in cigars, what would you say is the big message for you? What would you be telling people right now about like, hey, pay attention to these things, not just for the sake of your own enjoyment of social media, but so that <clears> we can right. continue enjoying the freedom of cigars. I think the big thing that we need to do as as a industry is so here's what happens the other the other side that doesn't like cigars they they're not afraid to stigmatize our behavior right yeah they paint they, us with the same brush as everything else and and it's and it's it's yeah. serious like they mock and and so then that makes like just the average person who isn't you know paying attention or doesn't really care about cigars now they feel they have this feeling about cigars because we've been right. stigmatized by them we allow them to stigmatize our industry we and we need to be prepared to stigmatize right back like you you know you, you're the kind of person that uh, is anti liberty you're against li the liberty that i enjoy as a, a, a red-blooded american oh, like yeah. we need to stigmatize right back you know we need to be ready to fight mm. right back as, as opposed to just kind of Sitting back and just saying, you know, it's not that big a deal. It's yeah. just, it's just, I, I, Tim, this drives me crazy. This week on Facebook, on the whole menthol flavored cigar ban, I saw several, and I'm not going to name names, but I yeah. mean, several people literally like, ha ha, well, I'll never have to smoke an acid again. And I was like, guys, yo, yeah. I was like, yeah. do, do you realize how much flavored cigars subsidize premium cigars? Like, in general? Like, you're crazy. If you give up this battle, if you give up this battle for flavored cigars and even menthol cigarettes, if you're willing to back away from this one, then you're going to be willing to back away from the next one. The next right. one will be like, you know, we won't be able to have the artwork on the cigar boxes. Oh, who cares? Oh, plain packaging. I, yeah. I can still smoke the cigars. Well, guess what? You just keep backing off, backing off, backing off until eventually they're coming after your your cigar that you actually do enjoy and you and you're wondering what the hell happened what the hell happened yeah, yeah. How, how was it so easy for them to take it away right. from me right because you allowed it you absolutely know? so there are a few things that i would recommend and i'll ask you too to speak into this as well but for cigar smokers right now who are interested and intrigued by the idea of having a future where you're free to not only enjoy this stuff but to share it with other people who enjoy it via technology right you for sure should be active in uh protecting cigars from dangerous regulation and right now, I'll tell you, if you're not a member of Cigar Rights of America, that's a great place to start. Uh, and the Premium Cigar Association also does quite right, a bit right. of fighting for mm -hmm. our rights. Any other groups in your mind? Well, you've got, you know, I mean, there's a, a few uh, groups similar small on smaller scales. Mm -hmm. But I would say like this. Here's the thing, guys. If you go to your local cigar shop, you know, I mean, not here. Obviously, it's Cigars Daily. Because these guys know what's <laughs> up. But I've been surprised, Tim. You go to you go to a, a, a retailer and you start to talk about it and, and they're like... What are you talking about? Like they don't even yeah. know. Yeah. So yeah. as a cigar smoker, you can be, you know, just I don't want to use the word educating. That might sound a little too strong, but you know, how like making sure that the the folks that you deal with on a daily basis that like cigars realize that we're even in a fight. Hell you know, yeah. Do, do they even know? You know yeah. They might not know. <laughs> yeah. It would be something. Share it with people for sure. And also, in addition to joining groups, sharing the information with other people, make sure that you've got places that you know you can go in case the tech giants decide. You know what? That's just straight up too taboo for us. It's over. They're done. Delete all of it. And then right. it's gone. You wake up one day. It's like it's like Eric's yeah. app here. It just vanished. Uh, make sure that you have got an account on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Make sure you've got an account on Dojoverse. There are even other websites out there that are popping up and ones that are growing right now where you will always have a guaranteed assurance that you can share your passion for premium cigars. Even if you like cigars like Cuban cigars that are embargoed. And if flavored cigars get outlawed, just so you guys know, 
They're not looking at outlawing you having flavored cigars. They're outlawing the buying and selling of them. That's the same thing as with Cubans right now. Right, so right. you'll be able to have them. You'll always be able to share your passion for that stuff. Just know how, when, and where you can do it. The, they're counting on us giving up and walking away. Right. Because after they started realizing that a true bans like, like Prohibition and then the 1970 Controlled Substance Act that turned into the war on drugs because of the right. illegal market, they're realizing that this stuff doesn't work, so they just want to make it impractical for you and for us to do. They're counting on us just giving up. Exactly. And yeah. we can't give up because, That's right. hey, not only, it's not just cigars, Tim. I mean, this is freedom, baby. This is liberty. This Hell is yeah. America. This Hell is yeah. the USA, baby. <laughs> we don't just give up. We drink bourbon. Mm -hmm. We smoke meat. We shoot guns. That's what we do. I uh -huh. mean, come on. We're Americans for crying out loud. Hell yeah. Fight for your rights. Fight for your liberty. Hey, Beastie Boys, you got to fight for your right to party. <laughs> and I'll tell you guys, it's one of the things about cigars that's so beautiful. It automatically draws community. Yes. Right? It creates community where there wasn't community before. There are so few things in our world that actually do that anymore. So it's worth the fight. And I want to thank all of you for hanging out with us for this video. If you haven't done so, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when we get videos. And more than that, check out CigarsDailyPlus.com and create yourself an account on the Dojoverse. Yeah. Follow Cigar Dojo and then get yourself a black belt. Go after uh, <laughs> go after these guys who have got the high end. You go do you, third degree black belt now? I'm a third degree black belt. All right, go after one Eric. One. Go after him, yeah. I'm telling you. Because <laughs> you, you, you need to bring him down a notch. I think that I, I'm going to try to anyway. Hey, man, thank you so much. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. you hanging yeah, out. Yeah, I know. This has been great. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. On behalf of myself and Eric, we are both signing off for Cigars Daily. See you all in the comments.